Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi coming to you from Virtual Studios in beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And welcome to another Problem of the Week. This week's problem is going to need you to have a periodic table. You're going to need a calculator. And you need to know how to find atomic mass, that's off the periodic table. How to find a percent, and I hope you know how to do percents, and chemical formulas. And of course I have a video on chemical formulas, should you be struggling with that, go watch it, and then come back. But if you're ready, let's look at this week's problem. You have a sample of 7.364 milligrams of sulfur dioxide. How many grams of sulfur are in the sample? All right, well, let's analyze the problem. The first thing I note is that we have milligrams, but they want the answer in grams. So let's go ahead and do that right away. Let's just change milligrams to grams. Move the decimal three times to the left. And then let's uh, go over and analyze our sulfur dioxide. Now sulfur dioxide uh, is uh, part sulfur and part oxygen. And so those are the only two uh, elements in sulfur dioxide. And a percent is just a part divided by the whole. So what we want to look at is sulfur is the part and sulfur dioxide is the whole. And if we take the amount of sulfur we have and divide it by the amount of sulfur dioxide we have, then we have a percentage and we can use, the, or a percent, and we can use that to determine our uh, amount of sulfur in this sample. So let's move on to the blackboard. Sulfur dioxide. Well, one sulfur is 32.066 and two oxygens is 31.998. Now, if you want to round these off to both 32, that's your business and depends on how you are doing your uh, significant figures. In this case, I'm doing significant digits according to the periodic table I'm using. And we add those together and we get 64.064 atomic mass units or grams or however you want to look at it. That's the whole and the part. So let's go ahead and take sulfur, divide it by sulfur dioxide, and we get 0 0.50053. And if you'll note there, you realize basically sulfur dioxide by mass is 50% sulfur. And I'm going to just leave it like the decimal because the percent can't be used in the next part anyway. So let's take our grams and multiply it by our ratio and we get 0 0.003686 gram sulfur. There's our answer. Was it too difficult? Was it? But you do have to practice these to get good at them. We found the mass of sulfur uh, dioxide and of course in the process we found the mass of sulfur and oxygen and we determined the percent of sulfur in the sulfur dioxide and we then calculated the grams of sulfur. Pretty straightforward. And as usual, if you have questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Check out uh, mrkazi'sworld.com. A lot of information there, and we're improving the site all the time. And subscribe to my YouTube. Happy Ions, everyone.